Hey everyone, Mike here from Clear Brands Grow. In today's video, I am going to talk about content ideas and how I've generated them. And I'll be honest, this is probably one of the first videos I should have done um, because I'm already sort of, I think it's about 16 or 17, 17 days into my 100 day video challenge. And for the last two weeks, I have woken up every day thinking, what the hell am I going to do for a video today? So I really should have done my planning up front um, rather than wing it. So I've decided now is the right time to uh, reflect, um, think about what I want to produce over the sort of next 80 days or so and beyond. Um, and then also give you a, um, a glimpse into what to expect um, and also um, give you um, ways to come up with content for your own business. So what I've started off initially writing down is, um, so these are the ideas um, or the videos that I really want to make. So they're things that I've sort of just thought about um, sort of ideas that I um, know will be quite interesting, um, at least to me. So that includes um, continuing the um, this, this sort of mini series that I started with Gaz Vogan last week um, around sort of overcoming objections to creating video marketing. Um, so that includes sort of the, you know, touching on sort of filming and editing tips and then how to write scripts and how you can actually use a teleprompter on your mobile phone um, to um, make sure you don't forget things um, when you are creating videos. Um, I then I've also really enjoyed um, talking with sort of fellow business owners and professionals. So I'd like to do like a series of chats. Um, I've already got a few lined up. Um, so like uh, Brad um, is a, a friend of mine and a content writer. Um, I've already appeared on Luke and James's uh, podcast. So I'd like to get both of them on separately and discuss their uh, their companies. Um, one of my, my fellow business partner, Paul Nolan, um, he is also the founder of a company called Konos um, that is helping people uh, know their numbers and actually making a big difference into the sort of health of employees. Um, and I also really want, this is one of the most exciting ones I really want to talk to is uh, Brandon Hurd. So Brandon is the uh, husband and partner of my good friend, Sheila. And um, he's an excellent graphic designer. So I just want to talk to him about all things graphic design um, and with particular focus on um, his new found um, interest in Elementor. So not only can Brandon design you an awesome website, he can actually build it for you as well. So I'd love to talk to him about that. I've then got things like the check-ins with Sheila. So sort of just checking in with her um, about the, our progress in the challenge, and um, that probably be sort of every two, three weeks. Um, I'm also really looking forward to uh, kicking the production on the shit marketing show. So, is the is the marketing shit, or is the is the is the video um, production shit? Who knows? Um, so that's something that we've been sort of talking about for a while, and actually it makes sense to try that out and, and see if that works. Um, I've then got a thing that I've done with sort of potential clients where I actually do like a website makeover review. So what I might do is um, take random websites, review them, and then um, show what I would do if I was the, the, the website consultant on that project. Um, so I haven't decided whether I will publicly announce those um businesses because uh, I don't know if that would be too much or not but um, if you're interested in like a free review of your website that you don't mind sharing with the rest of the world get in touch I've also got a presentation that I've done quite a few times recently to networking events that I want to share with the wider world and that is uh, five website mistakes that are costing you money so this is actually the lead magnet on my website so what I'll do is I'll break down the five mistakes and provide um, useful tips on how to solve them for yourself. I then also just, also just want to talk about some books that I found really useful um, over the last sort of, 12 months um, and maybe a bit longer. So things like Building a Story of Brand by Donald Miller, 
uh, and the five second rule by Mel Robbins. So I know that the five second rule is just like really changed sometimes. Like it actually gave me a lot of confidence to do things and just given me the, 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 um, what do you call it? Um, plan to actually do the things that I want to do. Um, so I'll hopefully touch on that in that episode. Um, and then kind of niching down a little bit, but sort of just providing some info and sort of sharing some courses that I've done that have really helped my business. And then they hopefully might help yours as well. Um, they are sort of all tailored towards sort of a marketing business um, or sort of WordPress website business, but um, um, particularly like the, the Business Made Simple University by Storybrand, that could be um, useful to a whole host of businesses um, and even sort of students that are trying to get a leg up and get a job right now. Um, so these are sort of really useful and um, a- applicable skills um, that will make you stand out. So that's what I want to touch on. So that's kind of things that I've just sort of off the top of my head I want to do and experiment with and see if they work. I then sort of looked at useful videos for my audience. And this is something that Gaz Vogan mentioned in our earlier video. So for instance, me as a website designer, developer, consultant, um, could look at explaining how to build a website. And that doesn't mean I have to build the you know, show how to build a website in one single like huge video because obviously it's quite a, it is quite a long winded process, um, and I don't think you'd want to sit through hours and hours of one video. So what Gaz suggested is have that overarching topic, but then break it down into sort of bite sized chunks. So for instance, if I was to talk about how to build a website, I might look at you know, you know what is a website and explain that in detail why is a website important, that kind of thing, then sort of talk about domain names, web hosting, SSL certificates, um, talk about WordPress, which is the the platform that I use most often, Um, and then things like, sorry, then things like how to connect your domain name to your web host. So things that uh, are useful, um, so, um, but not overwhelming. And then sort of going into things like, you know, what plugins to use and um, why you should use Elementor and how to build certain pages and and blog posts. Um, And then another overarching theme would be how to design the perfect homepage. So it would be like, how do you design your header section? How do you design your pricing section? Um, How do you design the footer of your website? Those kind of things. I've then got a load of other sort of overarching themes and um, ideas that I'd like to touch on, but I haven't expanded right now. So it's things like how to start an online store, um, social media uh, tips and email marketing tips, um, how to create a one page marketing plan. So those sort of things um, will be really useful. Um, And I think from a video sort of content point of view will be really handy to sort of break down into chunks. Um, And you can always, especially like YouTube, you can always like link them together in sort of into a playlist. So you can actually, you could go through them all together in, in the same, at the same time. Or if you've only got five minutes, 10 minutes here and there, then you can just sort of do one thing and learn one thing. Because as you know, as um, business owners and professionals, we're all quite busy. So we don't always have a lot of time to dedicate to learning and to develop, development and um, our own businesses. So if I can give you um, short tips and, and things like that, that'd be great. I've then got um, an idea for content generation from Marcus Sheridan. So Marcus Sheridan is a business book author and he has something called the Big Five. Uh, and essentially it's it's things that buyers really want to know. So it's that sort of what do, it's the things that buyers really care about. So according to Marcus, um, Buyers, no matter sort of what products or services they're buying, they have five questions that they want answering before they contact a business. So they are, how much does it cost? What are the problems with it? How does it compare with my other options? What's everybody saying about it? And what's the best best it? 
So they're the five things that every buyer, no matter what they're buying, want to know. And it's really interesting because uh, Marcus says that these you know, buyers are obsessed about these five things, but most businesses don't like talking about them. So like, for instance, service businesses, how many service businesses do you see stating their prices on their website? Um, they don't, I think they're just scared about sort of showing their price point. They think it might um, scare customers off um, and might give too much away to customers, uh, so to give too much away to their competitors. But really, we should be answering these questions and putting ourselves in the buyer's shoes. Um, because if we answer their most important questions, we're more likely to build trust and therefore generate sales. So taking the sort of five questions that buyers are obsessed about, um, I have used them as overarching sort of themes for ideas for video. So I've broken them down into cost, problems, comparisons, reviews, and benefits of. So for each of those sort of overarching categories, I've come up with five uh, video ideas. So for costs, I've got, you know, what, oh, sorry, that should be how much. That's how much does a website cost? How much should I pay for web hosting? Why is professional website design so expensive? Now, very few people, particularly obviously in my space, are going to want to answer that question because they may feel that puts people off. But if I produce a video on that, I'm going to obviously position myself as um, someone who's trustworthy, someone who you know appreciates that you know we can be expensive, especially when you compare us to like DIY routes. But then, if I can explain why that is so much more, we we are so much more expensive, then that will just you know we're not trying to we're trying to be temp transparent, um, we're not hiding anything. And at the end of the day, this is this is why it costs so much. And hopefully you also get a better result than if you did it yourself or went to someone cheap. Um, they're obviously touching on things like how much it does a domain cost? Um, you know, is a website care plan worth the money? And then for sort of similar similar things, problems, you know, what happens when my when when my website crashes? Um, what are some problems with web WordPress? That kind of thing. And comparisons are quite interesting. So if you can compare yourself to similar services or similar solutions. So for instance, in this, you know, comparing me as a website agency versus the DIY route, then comparing sort of my preferred platform, WordPress to other platforms that are out there. Um, and then I've even gone ahead and I think what I'll do is compare my main agency, which is Clear Browns Grow versus my new productized service, which is called Better Homepages, which just delivers better homepages and one page websites. So from that point, it would be interesting or be helpful to explain why you would choose one service over the other. Then we've got reviews, just reviewing sort of, you know, website platforms and plugins for WordPress and website um, hosting su suppliers. Uh, another interesting idea for this this sort of category is um, maybe create a, a video on your sort of recent website or sort of recent reviews on Google um, My Business um, or Trustpilot. So that could be a good um, website idea is just sharing other people's reviews of you as a business. And then finally, um, best of. So, you know, what's the best website platform? Um, what's the best web host? Um, what's the best mic for videos? Um, some of this will probably overlap. So like best ofs might overlap with comparisons, but it's just all about, you know, what will people search for? So some people will search for WordPress versus Shopify, but other people will want to know what's the best website platform. So it's just all about sort of capturing that sort of traffic um, and appreciating that not everyone is going to search for the same things and they'll have different like um, ways of finding you. So if you can just produce similar content, but it's a sort of packaged differently to sort of help different users that find things different ways, then that's also great. So that is um, it for today's video. Uh, as you can see, I've actually in the space of, I think I spent like an hour on this particular document 
and I've created well over a hundred ideas. Um, especially if you factor in some of them, some of the ideas are ideas that I want to do on a weekly basis. So actually now I've got a whole host of things I can do when I wake up first thing in the morning. Um, feel free to, if you're, especially if you're in the same space as me, feel free to copy these ideas. Um, I never think you can have enough people creating content, um, especially video content. We've all got different views and opinions. Um, and hopefully if you're not in my space and say you're an accountant or another service business, um, or an e-commerce business, you can just use these sort of frameworks, um, to quickly create, um, ideas for your business. Um, and then you've got no excuses not to go and create your video content. So that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching as always. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram, LinkedIn and YouTube um, and Facebook. And if you have any questions, um, just drop them in the comments below or send me a message. So uh, I'm Mike from Clear Brands Grow, um, website consultant, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.